Alibaba has just dropped a video model with Apache 2 license and this model can answer questions on the basis of objects. You can prompt point prompts to any object in a timestamp. These models can understand videos and segment objects, answer questions about them throughout the video at the same time, whereas other models can only answer what is happening in the video. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install this video refer model locally and we will try it out on couple of videos to see how exactly this works. So let's get started. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. First up, I'm creating a virtual environment with Konda. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Let's go back and let's now get clone the repo of this video refer and I'm going to drop the link to it in video's description again so that if you're following along, you can also check it out. Okay, next, next let's install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo. This is going to take five or six minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And while that installation happens, let's talk a bit more about the architecture of this model. Now, as I said, Video Refer is a new suite which is designed to enhance video LLM by enabling them to understand and reason about specific objects within a video at a fine-grained level. Current video LLMs excel at general comprehension but struggle to track and analyze individual objects over time. This is where this video refer is introducing three key components, a large scale high quality data set called as video refer 700K containing object level video instructions, then the video refer model itself, which is built uh, for precise spatial temporal perception. And then we have video refer bench to evaluate this new, these new capabilities. The architecture of video refer model is centered around a new versatile Spatial Temporal Object Encoder, as you can see in this diagram. This encoder is designed to process both single-frame and multi-frame region inputs. It consists of two main parts, a spatial token extractor that generates precise object-level feature embedding from any given frame using pixel-level masks that allows for flexible, free-form region inputs. Following this, an adaptive temporal token merge module captures objects context across multiple frames, creating an enriched representation of the object's movement and changes over time. Finally, these detailed object level embeddings are interleaved with general image level embeddings and language instructions, which are then fed into LLM to facilitate detailed object focused reasoning and dialogue. I know it's a mouthful, but if you really want to understand this model and how is it different from the rest of the lot, I would highly recommend just repeat this section where I have described this architecture as I have tried to explain it in as simple words as possible. I'm more than sure you are going to appreciate this model more. All the prerequisites are done. Then now you can launch the demo by running this demo slash app.py. And the first time when you run it, it downloads the model. So let's wait. There are various models which it downloads. And by the way, it comes in 7 billion and I believe 3 billion size. So you can just select as per your GPU. Okay, so the models are now downloaded. Let's access this local grid view demo at localhost at port 7860. And there you go. Our video refer model is now running. Let me make it a bit smaller so that we would see what is happening. So you see there are two modes, there is an image mode, there is a video mode where you can upload your own video. You can also just caption it or segment it or you can ask the questions as we go. And you can even annotate the first image if you like. Okay, so let's try it out. And now this is how you use this model. You select a video 
from just here and then it will automatically populate this frame and this is where you select the object you want to segment or want to interact with and then it simply gives you the answer here as you can see i just selected this dog and it is saying a small dog is sitting on a bed looking at the camera and all that stuff and because this is my ubuntu system i am accessing it through vnc so it is not showing the video here but i can show you the video here this is a video which i used this is an example from their own system okay so and you see that uh, how quickly it was able to do so let me select another one and don't i just uh cancelled it that is why I just reload it now i'm going to select video again maybe i will um select the video maybe i will go with some ai dog so this is a dog so this is the ai dog video i had created uh, you know some time back i'll show you this is a video this is an ai generated video okay so that is done now you see it has already annotated it so i'm just going to click on this draw button and i'll just say i want to select this area once that's done let's click on generate caption it is going to generate it let's check the vram consumption we're consuming over 32 gig of vram and that is a max because that is model is fully loaded there and this is where it is talking about a golden retriever is standing in a grassy field you see how good and then it is talking about you know uh, looking directly at the camera with its tongue hanging out so this is what you can do with it of course you can um, you know answer the question so this is one maybe i'll just click on it just to see what it produces so uh, yeah this, i don't think so it will work because i haven't really maybe selected it so let's try it again so i'm just going to cancel it from here upload the maybe i'll go with another one so i'll just select my own video okay this time it has uh, populated it thankfully that is nice okay let's try out a video one and look i'm doing it in real time and these demos uh, are not really because i'm using their code too so these are not fully tested so this is one issue working on building it so please don't thrash me in the comments and if you do what i can do nothing so anyway so i'm just going to select myself and this <clears throat> monitor behind the scene and then i'm just saying what is the relationship between object zero and one let's see if it is able to do that there you go this is object zero but because it couldn't identify it object one so that is why it is not detecting it what about again this is where i think they need to maybe fix uh no it is actually it's object zero is a wall behind object who is a man sitting in front of it so this is a bit sketchy where it is unable to do the relationship thing but other than that i think still while the video happens this is actually quite interesting okay so video is good let's try out uh an image one so i'm just going instead of their image i'm just going to use my own image here so i'll just click here i'll go back to my images and select one of them okay so as you can imagine that this is from my another video where we were inspired by pulp function uh okay so maybe let's just can i do that here i'm not sure doesn't matter let's try it out a white dress shirt with a pointed collar and a visible button packet okay so it has just gone with this too this is nice no problem what happens with a qa okay maybe i'll just draw it again this time i'm just going to go with these people behind the scene okay and where is the question so i'll just say what is the object yep you see so vqa is not that good i think maybe they just need to improve it other than that it looks not that bad at all okay let's try out one more and this time just let's caption maybe this candle here 
I'm just going to select it like this. Let's generate the caption. There you go. So it has select. Okay, so you, you see, so I just selected this, but it automatically gone with the whole person here. And the explanation is quite good. Anyway, pretty interesting model from Alibaba. But I think I would like to see it more improved and then they should fix their code around VQA and then it will be uh, really, really cool to try it out. Anyway, let me know what you think. Please like the video and share it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.